everyone says you can tell a dubious tea girl from a mile away because um, they just have that certain thing about them and I think it's a confidence to be successful and to do what you want to do. As Six Women, we're able to use the alumni network and that's been really helpful for me recently because I'm trying to set up lots of work experience and we've been able to contact ex-GDSD pupils who are at medical schools around the country and so that's been a really valuable insight for me, helping me choose where I want to go. Fun and lively environment and uh, vibrant, happy girls um, were really apparent as soon as I walked through the main entrance. It all began in the 1870s. Uh, four splendid, redoubtable Victorian women decided that um, boys were going off to public schools, governesses were fading away from the scene, and there was nowhere for girls to be educated. So they started a little school in Chelsea with 16 girls, and it grew incredibly fast. We, we now have 24 schools and two academies. They're almost all all through schools, which is quite unusual. They, they go from three to 19. And that means we can track girls from the very earliest um, learning right through to university application. We can bring the best of our senior schools down into our junior schools. I think it gives us an extraordinary continuity and that's very powerful. It is reassuring as a parent to know that there is a very strong, very long established and very wise organisation behind it with a very strong and energetic old girls network. So looking to the future, yes, I think that will be beneficial. When I became more aware of the opportunities available to join the old school network and the old girls, like we have Miriam Stoppard talking at our prize giving, that was really inspirational for me. And um, definitely going down to Bath for the head girls conference, that was really nice to see other girls and see what they were going on to do and kind of keeping in touch with them, that's been really nice. A, a one-off school might have an alumni base of perhaps a thousand or two thousand, we've got forty thousand and that gives us an extraordinary range of support for girls as they leave university at a very challenging time for employment. <laughs> There are huge opportunities, they can go on leadership courses, um, Oxbridge entrance courses, they can go on residential trips, they know that there are other girls in the country with whom they can share sport, music um, and all the other passions that they have and they can get together regularly uh, to compete or to, um, to share experiences and to learn and to enjoy time together. And for us as teachers it's hugely supportive as well, we have a whole network of other teachers who know what it's like to be in our type of school and have the same belief in the quality of girls' education and how important it is to make sure that every girl gets to be the best that she can be. There are obvious benefits of uh, an all-girls science education. We don't have gender stereotyping. The atmosphere in the class is different if it's all girls. And we really, in that environment, we try to nurture an atmosphere of encouraging, questioning, risk-taking, without the fear of the girls being made to feel foolish. It's a very supportive atmosphere. If you look at our university destinations, we send five, literally five times as many girls leave GDST schools to read medicine uh, as girls in the UK population normally. 40% um, of our girls do science at A-level. I think what happens is that in a GDST school, there are no feminine or masculine subjects. Everything is up for grabs, so you do the subjects for which you feel a passion. I like chemistry because of the way we get to experiment, and you're told things, and then they can really be, they can take part in front of you, so it's really hands-on, and you can see what you're being taught. Attention, atties! Come on, John and May, They don't quickly, just push quickly, you quickly. academically, they really help you in whichever field of life you want to go into, uh, drama, art, they'll never try and push you into one direction, you're allowed to be your own individual person. We admit girls at age 11 on an exam basis and anybody who applies can apply for a bursary and that's then means tested, we are a charity, so that means that all the money, that the surplus money that, as it were, comes from the fees and from our endowments is all reinvested in the schools. She put what can we see? green and yellow crunchy leaves. We really mean it 
when we say that each individual matters. So that means that we will genuinely work in partnership with parents um, to ensure that their daughter is genuinely happy um, and that she has the opportunity to achieve her potential. So where's all the words described strong? We do a lot of peer assessment, peer work, so that the girls are very aware that it's okay to make mistakes, their friends are there, they're supportive, um, and that's the sort of culture that we have in the classroom, so they're not scared to make mistakes and they'll answer questions without fear that they're going to get something wrong. My girls are well-rounded, confident, articulate, they're caring girls. They're also girls who will take responsibility. They are aware that it's not just about them. They are girls who understand that you give and you put back. I don't think there's a bad word or bad moment I've had at the school. Everything's been so positive. I'm so grateful for the opportunities that I have been given having been at GDST school. I think they really do take every girl's individual talents, strengths and weaknesses and mould them. I have seen that in my own daughter in the years, both academic and the social and emotional side of her. They, it's not just a tagline at the end of a prospectus. It, I've actually seen it living and breathing in the school and that to me will keep me here for a very long time. A product is our girls, these wonderful girls who emerge aged 18 or 19, so terrific and so confident and, and, and so intelligent and lovely from our schools. And everything is focused on how, what can we deliver for the girls, that's really what it's all about.